Hello, internet people. Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. Uh, people are often asking me what metal should I use to set my, my ring or my piece of jewelry. And there's a few questions to ask when deciding what metal you should use to set your ring. The first is, what color do I want the metal to be? Broadly, the colors that most people set jewelry in are white, yellow, and rose. So you can get gold in either yellow color, white color, or rose color. And then if you're, if you're, you're thinking of white, you have the other option of platinum. So if you're looking at yellow or rose, your decision is simple, right? You want either yellow gold or rose gold. If you're looking at white, how do you decide on white gold versus platinum? What's the difference between white gold and platinum? Well, this gets a little bit into metallurgy, so bear with me. Um, if you look up white gold on the periodic table of elements, you will observe that it doesn't exist. There's no such thing as white gold. Gold is yellow. There's only one kind of gold in the world. Gold is yellow. We all know what gold looks like. So how do we make white gold? Well, 24 karat gold is pure gold, right? So that's purely yellow all the time. You will never have another color of gold in 24 karat purity besides yellow. You can't really use 24 karat gold to make a ring with anyway because it's too soft to set a stone in. Uh, you may have seen in like old Western movies where the prospector comes with gold out of the mountains and the guy in town bites on it to see if it's real before he pays the guy for it. Well, the reason that they do that is because pure gold, 24 karat gold, is so soft that you can actually bend it with your teeth and deform it with your teeth. Well, that means it's too soft to hold a diamond in because as soon as you knock it against a desk or a doorknob or what have you, it's going to bend and your diamond's going to fall out. So we never use 24 karat gold for setting stones. What we do use typically is, let's say, 18 karat gold. Sometimes 14 karat, but let's say 18 karat. Well, if 24 karat gold is pure gold, that must mean that 18 karat gold is 75% gold and 25% something else. So when we're making 18 karat white gold, we use something really white for the something else, like cadmium or nickel. Um, and that makes it much whiter than pure 24 karat gold. But it still doesn't make it pure white. It's still a little bit yellowish. So how do we get it to that pure white that you see when you look at a white gold ring? We electroplate it. We cover it in a very, very thin layer of another metal called rhodium. Rhodium is a very white, very brittle, very hard metal that's uh, it's actually too brittle to make rings out of because you can kind of break it. But it works great for covering gold. And we cover it in this layer of rhodium, which think of it like the candy shell on an M&M. &M. And so that's how you get that very, very white, white gold. But... Um, when you wear a ring made with white gold, over time, you're touching doorknobs and desks and steering wheels and living your life and interacting with the world. That thin layer of rhodium will eventually wear off, and the yellowish gold underneath will start to show through. Now, that's no big deal. You can take it back to your jeweler and have it recoated, re-dipped in the rhodium, and make it good as new again. And you can do that as many times in your life as you'd like without ever damaging the ring. But there's that maintenance of color that you have to do with white gold. Now, platinum, on the other hand, is naturally that bright white color all the way through. So yellowing will never happen with a platinum ring, right? So if you put a white gold ring and a platinum ring next to each other, and they're both brand new, they will look identical. But after a year of wear, the white gold ring will be a little bit yellowish, and the platinum will still be pure white. However, platinum is also softer than white gold. So that means that as you're interacting with the world and touching things and holding things and grabbing things, the platinum will scratch up pretty easily, and it will very quickly develop a pattern of dings and dents and scuffs and scratches. Now, that's called a patina, and many, many people, in fact, most people who wear platinum rings, decide that they love that patina, and they think it gives the ring character. It's, think of it like, you know, uh, the, the rings in the age of a tree. Uh, they think it's a unique fingerprint to their ring, and they think it's cool, so they never want to change it. But if you're not one of those people, if you like your platinum looking shiny and new, you can get it polished back to that original exterior, and you can do that as often as you'd like without damaging the ring. So there's that maintenance you might have to consider doing. So when you're deciding between white gold and platinum, you basically have to decide would I prefer to do maintenance on color or would I prefer to do maintenance on scratches. It's kind of a similar consideration either way. Now platinum is slightly more expensive than white gold, but at today's market prices that difference isn't terribly significant. So I don't think this is really a financial decision so much as a personal preference decision. And you've got to decide for yourself what is more uh, applicable or appropriate to your lifestyle. So I hope that answered the question. Uh, if it's not 100% clear to you, feel free to comment down there and I'll get to you as quickly as I can. Or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, 
at Concierge Diamonds. You can find me at conciergediamonds.com or you can ask me on Reddit where I go by Diamond Dealer. I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.